Hey guys, gamer of gamers in the house, and welcome to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It has actually been a very long time since I last recorded. Um, oh yes, I did unlock the piranha plant. Yes, I did get that. But, offline, I have not played this game in a while. And that is mainly because um, of two reasons. One, I've been doing a lot of looking around for scholarships at one point, so I've been a bit focused on that. Reason number two being that I recently got my hands on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is a massively addicting game to the point to where I could not stop playing it. So... I was massively addicted with that for a long time. I still am addicted to it, so it took quite a bit of willpower to actually want to record this video. But now, um, I finally managed to get back towards recording this. And hey, if you're actually interested in seeing me play some Breath of the Wild, maybe, maybe I'll record myself playing it on Master Mode because I'm already quite a ways into the regular game. So if you guys are interested in seeing me, like maybe rage out while playing Master Mode. Let me know in the comments section below, but for now, last episode we managed to get all the way this far in the adventure mode, and now we are going to take on the Molten Fortress. So let's get into it, starting with Mecha Koopa, let's go. Oh yeah, some other things I would like to bring up before we continue. Well, I'm going to look at a few things here, but... A few things people, some of my friends have brought up since the last time I played is that I am actually pretty bad at the game. I'm not sure if it's because I simply, if it's because my spirits are, my spirit setup's bad, or if it's just because I am simply bad at the game itself, or possibly both. But. Either way, according to them, I'm doing very bad at the game. No. You do not take away my beam sword, okay? You can blow me up all you'd like, but you ain't taking my beam sword. Gotcha. Alright, already one victory of the day. That's good. Reduce it. The reduced damage taken from floor support spirits are some of the most useless spirits because you'll still be taking quite a bit of damage from them, especially with the fact that they can give out a bit of knockback, which is one very nice. See, look at this. Uh, lava Floor 1. And I really don't have much of a way of defending myself on this one other than maybe using that one I just got my hands on the... Lava Floor 1, which is actually a pretty useless support spirit, so I'm just going to jump right into this one, because there is no way that I'm going to be able to... Even with, like, the reduced damage, you still get knocked back by the Lava Floor, making it just about useless, so... And at least with some of these lesser spirits, like, at least the entire floor ain't lava, so it's not that bad that... And uh, my beam sword's still pretty powerful, especially along with uh, having Tebu. Ready and ha! Ah, oh, missed. No, oh, not my beam sword. I hate it when they take away my beam sword. Ha! Almost got him. BAM! There we go. Please tell me this one gives me a full- Nope, that's a primary spirit. Come on! Give me something that can make me immune to lava. Because I really need a lava immunity spirit at some point. And, oh, I can't get to the switch yet. Really? Okay, we've got a variety of paths here. I think I'm going to take on the harder one. That is probably going to be even more rage-inducing. 
It can unleash critical hits at random. Enemy heals over time. Oh, well, I have the Wii Fit Trainer, so I can also continuously heal as well as have a support spirit that can heal over time. So we could be doing this all day. Okay? Ah! See? His damage output is much greater than mine, so I could do this all day. Ha! He doesn't even know how to counter. And there we you have it. A simple support spirit catcher, and it's another boring primary spirit. I'm sure these primary spirits will come in handy at some point, but I do think at some point I am going to want to return them. A lot of these unopenable paths, is there a way at some point that I'll be able to open them? So, okay, we got a stamina battle. In which I should be perfectly fine, it's just against Green Ninja. See, there's a simple ones like these. And then for some reason, there's the insanely hard ones that... You guys got nothing on me. Okay. Okay, one down, two to go. That's another one down. Another one bites the dust. And, okay, you managed to block that. Good job. Except you're going to need to block more than once against my attacks. Because I got a insane amount of... Yeah, I usually prefer the beam sword because of its long distance range. Like, that makes it kind of a... Like, just about any item in this game is ridiculous. Oh, boy. Here we go. Fire and explosion attacks aren't as effective at the enemy breeze fire. Oh, boy. This is where it's going to start getting tough. We're going up against a legend class. A curry Charizard. We're going up against a curry Charizard. Let's see how I manage against this. Oh my goodness! I am getting... Okay. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Whenever I'm in front of him, he breathes fire. Let's try, let's try that again. Maybe that was just a bad start. Maybe that was just plain old bad. Maybe I'll do better this time. Ready? Go! Uh, ha! And I cannot see what. Down! I wasn't even down in his. Okay, just keep hitting him with the. Jeez! What? How? Continue. Again, guys, like, I'm probably just bad at the game. Obviously, I'm going to have to rethink my whole setup here if I'm going to... So, explosion attacks don't really do much against this guy. And... Uh, I see no way to combat his fire. So, what am I supposed to do counteract against the fire so I have no way to counteract the fire unless I have a support spirit that's good against fire like uh, let's see here like how many are good here do I have any that are good oh here we go fire slash explosion resist this should help me a bit though I may want to level this up It obviously could use a few levels. There is no way I'm going in with a weak spirit like that. There we go. So that should take care of the fire. And let's... What, do I wanna, what else do I want to have? Let's equip that since the match seems to go quickly. And then... Next. 
He was really attacking me down there. I think I'm going to go back to Marth. So I'm going to be able to counter him. This is going to be my setup. For this match. Again, like... I know there are those friends that are telling me I, I have a bad setup. Like, they told me that one ridiculously overpowered spirit was, um... Shaman in its sky form which I do not have yet and so far I have not found any and if I did I did not get my hands on it so I have the power to resist his okay that's not really resisting that is more I am still getting hit by his fire oh good I get a blaster which probably won't do much against his fire will it oh my goodness this game is just how? How? Continue. How do I stand a chance against that? Surely there must be a way. Why did I press rematch? I wanted to do some change ups in my setup, but I accidentally clicked the wrong button. But there is. Ready? Go! Okay, at least I'm dealing some hits to him. Ha! Ah, come on. Like, the moment I get hit by the fire, I can't do anything. Like, the, the explosion resistance is doing nothing to help. All I can do is... I, I countered that. I countered that! Ready? Ha! Okay, just wait for him to come down here. It's gonna be my. S Finally! Okay, increases the number of midair jumps by one. Ooh, that'll come handy on ones that where I may have a limited amount of ground. But we managed to get past that one. So, though we are, we did fail a couple of times there. We're not doing too bad this episode. Compared to how we did against those wool Yoshis, which for some reason we did ridiculously bad. I don't know how, but somehow we did. And I don't know how. I like sticking with Meloetta and having the Beam Sword. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to stick with the Wii Fit Trainer because of the fact that the Wii Fit Trainer can heal. Yeah, I'm not fully sure if the Piranha Plant will be useful or not here. Right now, I'm just going to focus on getting through this with what works with me. Ready? He's giant. Ah! Okay, this one also can breathe fire. That, that's stupid. Okay, well, at least it eventually goes away after a while, unlike Charizard, who... Yeah, at least with Charizard, like, it eventually goes away after a little while. Like, I can't do anything against it. Huh? Okay, that didn't work. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta say, I do see Tebu also being a pretty powerful primary spirit which does make me question how powerful is shaman shaman must be quite powerful if it's actually that powerful we got one switch activated great we can go back and activate the other switch so it's sort of like I gotta unlock each path with the switch once I get to them good thing I already took out all the spirits I needed to get at now we got another two paths I can take. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna take the one with the chest because, you know, loot. What do we got? Melty Monster Soup. Okay. I'm sure I can take... A lot of these unlockables I'll take a look at some other time, but for now I want to keep things moving forward because I want to see if I can get this entire Molten Fortress in one video. 
Uh, all fairs that you see launch reinforcements will appear after enemies. Uh, enemy starts out a battle with that. Ah, this should be simple. Just watch. This is gonna be simple. Ready? Go! All right, nice job. You managed to get a hit off of me. I'll admit that was pretty impressive. Except it's going to take more than a Star Rod to get a hit off of me. And ha! Another one down. Yeah, so you see why I like the Beam Sword now? I did not mean to fire that, but that works. I probably would have won anyway, I was doing really good. Another problem here is that I don't have a lot of the fighters that I'm used to fighting as. That may be another reason why I'm doing pretty bad. Because I don't have the fight. Oh, hey, Gro don't I have Groudon? And great, it's a lava floor. See how we do. Oh, well, if Bowser's giant, then it should be easy for me to hit him. So I guess it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and the entire floor isn't lava. Ha! Yeah, it's gonna be quite easy if... Wait, what? How did I... My beam sword! Come on. Oh, come on, he's just one hit away. And if not, then just as close. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I knew that would happen. There we go. <laughs> Bowser's face. Just with, with where I hit Bowser there. And it, yeah, I already have like the primal ground on. That gives me fire slash floor resistance, which, as you've seen before, is completely useless. Next pipe! What do we got now? We got... How hard? Oh, what? Level 1! Okay, then. Level 1 spirit it is. If you're wanting to throw at me level 1 spirits at this point of the fortress, you can be my guest, but I'm going to... I just need to knock them off screen. That's all it takes. And oh, the bomb bomb finished him off. Okay. Yep, that was simple. Onward to adventure. Come on, want to get to the boss now. We have got a lot going on here. And a multitude. Ooh, new fighter. Yes. I always like those new fighters. Come on, please be... I hope it's Samus, because Samus is like my main number one fighter, besides Marth. Samus is my number one fighter. If I can get my hands on Samus, I should be do doing very good. Oh, really? It's Peach? I was highly hoping it to be Samus, because I have... That's like my number one fight. That's the one I do best with. Like, if you guys were to see me play as Samus... Like, this game would be a cakewalk, because I rock with Samus. And that's not exact duration. I am good with Samus. Now, no, I do not know any combos, and I don't exactly know how to do combos. I'm sure there's ways, but I don't know how the whole combo system works, and... If it's something that like you need to come up with on your own or something, I'm not really good at making my own combos. Like I've, I'm not sure if I said this before in previous episodes, but I would consider myself at least an average player at this game. I would not consider myself that good. I'm mostly in this for the story. Is all I'm in it for. Other than that, I'm just having a good time here. Enforcements will appear. Okay, there should be another pushover. You know, making them giant 
is not really going to help you. It's just going to make it easier for me to uh, hit my target. Although that is not giant. See, look at that. All right, there we go. There's... Hey! You do not take my beam sword. You take my beam sword. Like, uh, there goes our friendship. Okay? You're all going to get blasted by my beam sword. You dare to try to take it away from me. You are going to get a massive beatdown, buddy. I mean, sure, if I was playing as Samus, I'd be able to handle it perfectly. And is that the entire fortress? Hold on, did I actually get everything in the fortress already? Because I remember the previous dungeon we were in, like the other fortress, having maybe a bit more to fight. Or maybe it just feels like that because I had to split it up into two separate episodes. So I thought I was going to immediately go to a boss or something. No. Okay then. Well, it'll be on to the boss and we'll already be done with this video. Though I suppose before, before we actually take him on, let's see if, what skills I can upgrade. I have a total of 80. Why do I have such a limited... I remember being able to zoom out before once and I... I guess not. No! I did not want to leave that. Get back in there! I was looking at that. So, like, what do we got here? Increases damage dealt to metal opponents. Reduce it. Okay, that'll be useless. Increases power of neutral attacks. Grabbing and throwing attacks. Great. Oh, wait, what? Slightly increases the power of all special moves. Increases. And I have also learned that the beam sword is a battering item, so... I think I may want to... Focus a bit on increasing the power of the battering items. Reduces effect of... Well, I've got a item that completely takes away that. So quite a few routes that I can... Wait, what? Redu oh, that just slightly reduces damage taken again. Yeah, that's not what I'm aiming for. So I suppose for the time being, I'm going to go back to saving up for that. But I will want increased power in my battering items to make fights like this. Whoever I'm going up against here easier. So win the battle to awaken the fighter. Wait, but isn't this a boss? Alright, well let's go. Previously it was a fight all the way from back in Brawl. So I'm quite interested to see what this one is. Oh, it's uh, Bowser. Very well then. I so Oh, Giga Bowser. Okay. So if you guys didn't know... Ow. And there goes my beam sword. Okay, this is going to be much harder than I expected. Huh. Get behind him. No, I didn't want to go with the up special. Okay, I can sort of see what you guys mean at times on me being bad at the game because some of these super predictable attacks I'm just walking right into well that was predictable I was at least able to dodge that yeah see that right there was just out of purely out of my own carelessness Oh, I almost had him. Okay, I almost had him, though. Yeah, you guys can easily tell, though, that just from looking at that, that with his very predictable attacks, that I am not very good at the game. I will admit that I lack a lot of skill at this game. So do I actually unlock Bowser by defeating Giga Bowser? Another thing, too, is that I don't know what sort of attacks he plans on unleashing like that. I can't fully tell if he's just going to do a simple bash or like that spinning attack, so... Okay. Deal a hit to him. And then go over him. 
Okay, and then when he backs away like that... Okay. Okay. With uh, Meloetta healing... Okay, it's gonna breathe fire. And, okay, I still walked into it a little bit, but... I'm doing a much better job... Keeping his attacks at bay. So that I don't get hit by them. Well, that one I walked into. I'll take the... And that. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit careless again. Oh, he has an only set. Like, the moment I start doing good, like, he... It's like he got harder. Wait, where's my... He knocked it out of me, didn't he? Gotcha, Bowser! Even in your Giga form, you're no match for me, even if you did beat me once. Yeah, if I'm losing to a boss, then... I obviously am lacking some skill. We got Bowser on our team, folks! And, ooh, a Giga Bowser Primate Spirit. Though it's not very powerful. But yeah, I think I'm really going to want to save up for that increasing damage dealt to metal opponents. Because that will really come in handy when going up against metal opponents. So I'm going to save up for that next. We unlocked Bowser. Though I do wish I could get my hands on Samus sometime soon. Here, and... Take that! Take that, Galeem. The shield uh, protecting uh, Galeem has weakened uh, even more. Now, if I remember correctly, according to one of my friends, uh, it'll take three hits to Galeem's shield till I can, uh, till like it'll go away. So that just means I need to take on one more boss, and then uh, I'll be able to go and confront Galeem. Though of course, like, though of course I do plan to save that for last because I am uh, what people would call a completionist meaning that I would like to fully like you know complete everything like capture every single spirit in the in this game mode before actually going to confront the final boss you know do everything that I could do collect every single collectible basically find everything but with that that completes the molten fortress we have dealt another blow to Galeem's shield. Once again, the tides are turning. But we are still nowhere near finished. We still have a lot of fighters to find and free. Like, I don't even think we've discovered half the map yet. So, we still got a lot of looking around to do. It does look like there's a new fighter over in the distance there. So, I'll be working my way over to that new fighter. Also, maybe w see if we can find a way to get past that electric barrier sometime soon. Lots of things we still gotta do in this game, as you can see. So far, I've been, you know, taking the shortest route po possible past all these s spirits. And at some point, yeah, we're gonna wanna take them all on if we're truly wanting to 100% the game. So, next time, we'll go after that new, f that other fighter down there. And uh, just see where we go from there next time. But it, I should really start recording these videos more often. Yeah, there's the fighter over there. I gotta find a way to get over to that fighter. And I think the best place will be to start for, uh, is from over here on what looks to be the Great Wall of China or something. Yeah, this this looks to me like it's basically the Great Wall of China, but... We're going to be done here for today, folks. Thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and I am out of here.